So when scanning to email on a Xerox device, um, we want to be able to use an address book uh, more often than not just so we have uh, uh, as many people as we can uh, saved so that we don't have to manually type in our names. Uh, a few people on my team here, that's me down south, hey. Um, but what we want to do is we want to make sure that you understand how to actually load these names in. Uh, there's a couple ways to do it, but the easiest way is to do it via the website of the device. So we just simply start by typing in the IP address of that Xerox equipment in the uh, address field of a web browser. What you'll do is you'll go to the address book tab up top. Now it'll prompt you to log in. So we'll type in the user ID, admin, and then the password, 1111. And then after you click log in, you'll see, uh, you'll see an add, edit, and delete button. We've already got some folks in here, uh, just real quickly, but if you'd like to add more, uh, as you would guess, you'd press add. And then you can type in a first and a last name, um, as well as the email. And then notice, it'll auto-populate this display name field. Um, if you don't want to list it by last name in alphabetical order, uh, what you can do is you can just simply type in whatever you want here in the uh, display name field and then type in the, uh, the email. One important little note here is there's also a favorite uh, button that you can click and then what that does is that creates a separate address book that has, um, it just sits right beside the device address book, but it has the just a, a key section of people in there, our recipients. Uh, that are used the most. So you don't have to dig through a very extant or expansive uh, uh, address book if you don't want to. Either way though, once you're done, you type in the name, email, fax number, so on and so forth, and then simply press save. And then you keep going. Uh, if you need to edit or delete anyone, you can simply click on their name and then uh, press the buttons as needed. The other way to do it too is importing from a file. Um, and so if you have a, an Excel file, a CSV format specifically, you can have a whole list of names and emails so that you don't have to manually throw these in there. Um, but in a nutshell, that's how to add names to the address book.